Hey, what's going on guys? In one of my previous videos, I made a 2x3x3 iCuboid, and I was surprised at just how popular that puzzle was. A lot of people really liked the iCuboid concept, and they wanted me to make more in this series. Now, because I was only working with 3x3s, I figured that there were only three variations of the iCuboid that I could make with this puzzle. So I wanted to try doing the same iCuboid modification, but on three faces rather than just one. So I jumped straight into this modification and marked out all the areas that I was going to glue together before gluing them together, and then after that was done, I took the puzzle over to my bandsaw. I cut off three of the faces on my bandsaw, and I was left with this cubic puzzle that had everything on one corner cut away. After that was done, I got the epoxy sculpt out and I filled up all the pieces. Admittedly, I did this off camera because I was doing it late at night at my desk. You can see it was time to sand all the pieces down so I could reassemble the puzzle. After I reassembled the puzzle, I took it over to my belt sander and I started to sand everything down into a perfect cube. I was kind of aware that this puzzle was going to look like a disproportional 2x2, but I was at peace with that, so I carried on with this modification. However, this is the point in the project where things started to go a little downhill. You see, in my traditional fashion, I just jumped straight into this modification without actually knowing what I was going to end up with. I was just really curious to see what would happen if you made an iCuboid on all three axes. So I was a little disheartened with this project, but I decided to carry on regardless because I really wanted to see what it would look like. I disassembled the knot puzzle, and then I rounded off all the edges of each of the pieces. After I rounded them off with a nail file, I rubbed them down with some Scotch-Brite, and then I reassembled the puzzle so that I could paint it. I painted everything black, and it was actually getting quite late in the day, so I didn't bother sticking this puzzle up, but you can see here that this cubic 2x2i cube, or not puzzle, or whatever the hell it is, looked pretty cool, and even though it doesn't scramble, it still does some very interesting shape-shifting turns, and I think it's a pretty cool desk toy, or whatever it is you want to call it, and I'm kind of happy with it. Even though it doesn't end up with a puzzle that you can solve or even scramble, I still think it's a pretty cool exercise as to how to build puzzles. But anyways, I still think it looks pretty cool nonetheless, and I'm going to throw some stickers on this and maybe talk about it in another video with a bunch of other unscramblable puzzles in my collection. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys like this puzzle. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. I was rubbing the super glue in. I probably can't see this. Oh no, you can't. Damn it. Never mind. Wasn't that funny anyway?